Today I want to bring you a reading from Heinz Kohut's The Restoration of the Self on Anger and Rage. In essence, then, I believe that man's destructiveness as a psychological phenomenon is secondary, that it arises originally as the result of the failure of the self-object environment to meet the child's need for optimal, not maximal, it should be stressed, empathic responses. Aggression, furthermore, as a psychological phenomenon, is not elemental. Like the inorganic building blocks of the organic molecule, it is, from the beginning, a constituent of the child's assertiveness, and under normal circumstances it remains alloyed to the assertiveness of the adult's mature self. Destructive rage, in particular, is always motivated by an injury to the self, the deepest level to which psychoanalysis can penetrate when it traces destructiveness, parentheses, whenever it is bound in a symptom or character trait or expressed in a sublimated or aim-inhibited form, is not reached when it has been able to uncover a destructive biological drive, is not reached when the analyzand has become aware of the fact that he wants or wanted to kill. This awareness is but an intermediate station on the road to psychological bedrock, to the analyzands becoming aware of the presence of a serious narcissistic injury, an injury that threatened the cohesion of the self, especially a narcissistic injury inflicted by the self-object of childhood. In this reading, Kohut is talking to us from the point of view of psychoanalytic self-psychology and how much of our anger and our rage is because we do feel that our sense of self is threatened by the outside world, a lack of empathic response, a denial of our basic humanity, things of that nature, can enrage us. And I think that applies to a lot of what we're going through. So I hope you consider this reflection for your Sunday morning and be well.